Hey, to connect Huawei Watch Fit 3 with any Android smartphone, first of all, you will have to grab your watch, turn it on by using this red button, and then you have to select your language. And now we have to move into our smartphone. So we have to open your browser. In my case, I'm using Google Chrome. We have to go into the Google search engine, for example. And from here, we have to input this phrase, the Google Health, I mean Huawei Health, health up and add the download phrase like this you can actually pick this recommendation and now we have to enter for this official huawei.com website then we've got actually two buttons the red and the black one let's click for example on the on the red at the top and now we have to select uh, our smartphone brand so in my case, I'm using Google smartphone and it's actually not visible on the list. So I have to select other and I have to click reload. If you are using any other brand, just select and do the same. Now we have to click on this installation button. And I can highly recommend you to download this Huawei Health application by using App Gallery because when you try to do this via browser, uh, and a lot of times actually it's not working properly, so you cannot actually install this APK file. So we'll click here to install the app gallery and now we will download the store like the Play Store but for Huawei devices now we can click to open it, click to install. Now we have to wait for this installation process and we have to click open. Next click here, accept everything that is popping on your screen. Now we have to go for the search bar and we have to input the same phrase Huawei Health Yeah, we have to find this application, the Huawei Health app Now click on the install button at the bottom Go to the settings if you have the same permission Accept installation apps from the source, from the app gallery Then go back and try to repeat now at the bottom you can find this installation process. When it's finished we have to click install one more time. So now we have to wait for a few seconds and it looks like we can finally open it. So click here, tap next in the right bottom corner, click agree, accept notifications permissions and go into the devices. Then click to add device, accept the Bluetooth permission, accept another permissions that popping on the screen, click enable, click on the switcher to turn on location, go back. And now it's actually scanning for the Nerby devices. So as you can see, our device is actually turned on after the language setup and we can find our Huawei Watch V3 on the list. If for some reason you cannot find it, you can click to scan one more time. Now in this screen, we have to log into the Huawei ID. So if you have Huawei ID, all you have to do is just to input your phone, email or login and then password and click on the login. But if you don't have, you have to go for the register and simply create account. It will be a little bit uh, longer than a login with the standard method. So now I'm going to input my data. Okay, and after you input your login data and click login, you will actually be redirected into the next screen where you have to actually accept some permissions and you have to accept the login in your smartphone and in your watch. Now we have to click here to accept this terms of the use in the left corner and tap on the next in the right bottom corner and additionally you can actually enable this option to auto download updates over the wi-fi if you want but in my case i'm gonna do this manually so we have to click continue now as you can see we've got some update but i'm gonna actually install updates manually now we have to click on the settings and enable some permissions Okay, so this is actually the battery optimization 
that we have to allow. Now we can just go back, click done, click continue. Now we can enable the notifications. From this screen we have to also select the Huawei Health application and click on the allow notification access. Click here. Now go back into the previous screen again. And now as you can see we also enable the notifications. So now click done, click OK, accept another permissions, click OK again. And as you can see, we are successfully connected. When you grab your watch, you can also find short tutorial how to navigate. You can click next, next, done. And as you can see, it's finished right now. So this is it for this video. Right now, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.